everyone. Today we have a super fun video. I'm going to be setting up my A5 binder for my Stray Kids Bang Chan Special Collection. I adore watching these videos. I binge watch them all the time. I think it's just so satisfying because the binders are smaller so people tend to fill them up a little bit faster. And just seeing like the different collections that people put into their binders plus like how they set it up. I think it's super interesting and everyone has their own style. In my last video, I did a collection haul, a collective haul of this collection that goes into depth about all the things that you have here. Plus I got some extra things since that video, but if you want to go and see that, I'll go ahead and link that so you can get caught up with that. But like I said, today we're going to be setting it up. Here's everything in front of me that we're going to be using and what I'm going to be putting away. What I'm going to start out with, I think, is the materials that I'm using and then we can actually get into setting it up and going through my process and what we're going to do. So let's start with that. This is the binder that I'm going to be using. I know that the Beyond D brand binder is super, super popular and seems like it's the go-to binder when it comes to A5 sizes. You've probably seen it if you've watched any of these videos on YouTube. It's the one that has like the heart pocket on the front and has like deco text around it. Um, I just didn't want that for my binder. I think it's super, super cute, but I knew that I wanted to make like a custom insert cover page and I felt like having the pocket there with like a card on front would be like a bit too busy. So I went with just a more like plain and simple one. This is from one of this. It, that's a brand. I'm not really sure. But I got my binder and my sleeves from Mochi Things. As you can see, like the sleeves are from Beyond D, but the binder is different. Or maybe it is. I'm not sure if they're like the different or same thing. But yes, I got my binder and my sleeves from Mochi Things. I believe they're like a US based shop that like resells the binder, these sleeves, and a bunch of like paper and stationary goods. I think that they're pretty reasonably priced for like what they are. I've seen these can go like on other sites these can be pretty expensive but I feel like Moji's things is pretty reasonably priced and they're like pretty quick in shipping. I'll go ahead and link that down below but the two pages that I got were the full pocket page and the four pocket page because that is what's going to fit the items that I'm putting away today. And then as for sleeves, so these um, are a bit of a smaller size than your traditional like Ultra Pro 9 pocket page so you have to get special card size sleeves otherwise they won't fit. So I went ahead and picked up the Dragon Shield Clear Classic sleeves. This is what I see a lot of people use with their A5 binders. They're 59 by 86 millimeters and so there is a little bit of wiggle room with them in the sleeve but it's not too much and they fit the cards pretty pretty well. This is also my first time using Dragon Shield. Normally I have been using Ultra Pro but I actually really really like these. They actually feel like way higher quality in my opinion than Ultra Pro. They feel like a little bit like thicker and a little bit more clearer than Ultra Pro so maybe switching I don't know but I also wanted to mention I do have like all of my broadcast prints sleeved as well um and what I used for these is this so these are like archival pvc transparent bags um a lot of small businesses will use this to like package goods or if you're like in the art world you can put like prints and originals in here to like keep them sealed and protected so that's what I use for my prints basically um I Got, I get the bigger size because I can fit more than one per page and I basically just heat seal them in here. I just went ahead and picked this up from my local craft store but I know that you can get them on Amazon probably like the same places that you buy your sleeves for your binders. Um, you just have to make sure that they're acid free and archival because that means that they won't you know mess up your card or um, your print over time. It was five bucks for 25 of them and these last me a really long time. Uh, I'm still working through this package and I've sealed a lot of cards and prints since then so I would highly recommend if you wanted an extra protection for more expensive or like rarer prints if you're putting them in this type of binder so they're not just like floating around unprotected. <laughs> But yeah, other than that, those are all of my like hard supplies. And then we can move into what I'm gonna be doing 
for my actual setup, which is super fun. I'm really excited. I was thinking a long time about what I wanted to do and how exactly I wanted to set everything up. And I think this is going to be like a good strategy for me and how I like things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything in like chronological order from basically like Stray Kids debut up until now with the items that I have. And that's going to be a combination of prints and photo card size things. So for the photo card sizes, there's some sets that I'm going to want only on the page by themselves instead of filling up a four pocket. So I went ahead and went to the same craft store that I got the bags from and just picked up some fun like scrapbook paper that I thought would match like the theme and color scheme of each set that, uh, that will need a filler. So I thought that would be really fun. So there's like, we have some glitter ones for some of the other sets. And then for the prints, instead of just having like a white, either instead of having them just in the sleeve by themselves and you could just see through them, um, or instead of just putting like a white piece of paper, I went ahead and tried to find like paper, color, like colored paper that I felt like matched the theme or like you know the color scheme of each print really nicely so it's like I don't know a little bit fun a little bit different so it's not just like the same thing so that's what I did and I just cut these down so that they'll fit inside the A5 pocket pages so yeah let's go ahead and get started so you can see my actual thing and what I'm doing okay so I know a lot of people usually remove this so maybe I will for the meantime I might put it back but for the sake of storing I'm just gonna take this out for right now and then I just quickly wanted to show off the cover pages that I made for my binder if you saw I actually posted the cover on my community tab a couple days ago um, because I was super excited by how it turned out I really really liked it I wanted something that kind of fits my personal design style but that also was like obviously Chan related because this is a binder for him and so this is what I came up with. Um, this is a photo from their Unlock concert. I'll leave the original picture credit for this down below because they had a whole like thread from their concert they went to where they have a bunch of cute photos and videos. I just really really like this cover. I don't know I think it looks so good so across the top I just have some of like Chan's titles that he has from you know, Three Racha, Producer, Leader, Ozzy, and CV97. Bang Chan of Stray Kids. Um, this is the opening lines to Haven, which I really, really like and feel like it stays like home song. And then this is a Spotify code link to For You or Mixtape 3, which is like one of my all time favorite Stray Kids songs. Like, I really, really adore that song, and I'm so glad it made it onto the Skiz 2021 album because now I can listen to it without worry and then of course just stray kids ever all around the world and then this is his birthday um October 3rd 1997 so just thought that was super cute and then I wanted to make a back cover as well but I didn't want to do it like too crazy so I just did this cute photo where it's like him holding a photo card that he personalized that says Stray Kids X Day. I think this is originally like a screen grab from a talker episode, but as I was making these, I and I should say as I was preparing them, I actually realized that I messed up on this one, considering that this is supposed to be the back side. And if you can see, I totally messed up. So I'm gonna have to reprint this, um, but we're just gonna pretend that I did it right. <laughs> and that it's not gonna be totally um upside down so i just want to show you real quick what it looks like in the binder and then when it's closed you can kind of see through it which is what i wanted so yeah i'm very very excited with that so let's go ahead and open our pages and get putting things in here these initially are kind of stuck together when you first get them so I'm just gonna pull them apart really quick okay 
Okay, so let's start with our first print. So this is the Elevator broadcast print. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it just like I did um, in my No Easy storing video where I'm gonna p take a piece of tape and put it on the back up here and then stick it down to the paper so when I put it in the sleeve it like doesn't move around and that it'll stay super in place. So I'll go ahead and do that for this and then I'll probably just go ahead and do that for the rest of them so I don't have to edit that out. <laughs> Try to make it as straight as possible, which it's not. I need to bring it a little bit closer to me. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit better. And then also, so I don't struggle, I'm gonna bring the pocket page closer to me as well. But then it looks just like that. And it's super, super cute. And I feel like it looks I really like the colors. Is it already crooked? <laughs> Maybe it's just... There we go. <laughs> so, one down. Now we're gonna do the rest of them. I just finished taping everything to the pages. And now we can put everything in the sleeves. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just struggle here for 10 minutes. <laughs> Do you know what? thought would be cute and what I kind of wanted to do for this but I just didn't have the time to get all that I needed but because I'm like putting in special fun colors for the pages I thought it would be super fun if you like took these and then like decoed it with like those fun stickers that everyone uses for like decoing top loaders and journals I really really love watching those videos on like TikTok and Instagram. I like binge watch deco videos all the time and I think that would be so cute to like deco around on like these pages and I feel like it would make them even more special. The problem is is I have no experience in decoing. I've never tried it um, and also I just don't know where to get stickers. Like I see sticker shops and I'm like, oh, I should get those. And then I'm overwhelmed by the number of stickers I probably need to buy and get. <laughs> but that might be like something fun to like do as a video later or just in my free time is to like find some cute stickers and then deco some of these prints. So if you know of any fun like sticker shops, um, let me know in the comments down below. I know of a few that I've been thinking about purchasing from, but I would obviously love to like see what's out there before really committing. I wish I had had the time to like research or like buy some and like try one out for a page, but I'm just, it's not happening right now. <laughs> so maybe that could be like a fun summer project or something but okay so like I said I'm going chronologically so I'm looking at a I'm looking at a template right now um and they're actually now going to put in some photo card stuff so let me grab a four pocket there's already a fuzzy <laughs> okay so it's gonna be these cards and I'm gonna use these fillers. I had a hard time because like they kind of match right because I've got like the pink and the red but like stylistically they are kind of different so I went with this like pink paper. I'm still like not a hundred percent sold on it but it's kind of what I had to work with at the time. We're just gonna go with that for right now. Now 
And as you can see, like the sleeves fit super snugly in the pages, so they don't really move around much. So there's that. It does kind of bug me that this back is like the only one with the back. I didn't know if I wanted to make special backs for these again if you see like my other collection videos i like to make sure that my backs are pretty uniform but i didn't know whether i wanted to go that far with these cards so yeah the backs might not be as pretty in these as they are in my regular binder but that's okay now we actually also have the levanter cards to put away And for these, I found these really cute, like, glitter pages. I will say it made these, like, super, super thick. So I might actually have to find, like, a thinner glitter paper. But I, the blue, like, matches it perfectly. Like, does it not? And, like, look at this. Watch this. Like, isn't that just, like, the prettiest, like, little mini page i loved it when i saw this paper i was like that's the paper i have to use because i adore these photo cards and i wanted a, like a special filler for them and i was like this is the one <laughs> this is the filler so i just wish the paper wasn't as thick as it was but that's that's all right <laughs> so put these in it feels like a, these almost feel like lucky draws <laughs> but they're not. All right, so there's that. So pretty, oh my gosh, I love it. Very, very nice. Now we go back to prints. I should take this out. <laughs> As we know is from no easy it's the interpark one um i'm actually gonna put this towards the back of my binder but i just want to sleeve it while we're here this page is a little tight <laughs> Let's put it back here because no easy was like the last thing that we had okay and now we get to move on to all the photo card sized things and these are like pobs i think they're mostly all pobs yes these are pretty much all pobs and then a few like miscellaneous things back here so these two were another set that i wanted to have these are the uh go live with fans right we went through this last time and i couldn't remember again i found on these this other like blue tone glitter um i actually i feel like i remember picking up a black glitter page in the store because i wanted to match his jumpsuit but i feel like i ended up with this blue so does that look good should i get the black one instead I don't remember why I picked this one up or like why I purchased this one instead of the black one, but that's okay. Um, is this the pose that I want them in? I actually think I like that orientation better. Cute! Okay, so there's that one. And next we have the Withdrama Hollows, and for this one, I really want, I really wanted to get like those hollow sleeves. I actually want to get a bunch of those, like I really like the star and the heart ones, but as far as I can tell, you can only buy them in like bulk purchases of like 
a hundred, right? <laughs> uh, correct me if I'm wrong, or if like you know how to get them in smaller quantities. But I don't need to buy like 600 sleeves just so I can have like 10 of each kind. But I would love to have like the hollow sleeves or like the broken glass sleeves or like the star sleeves. So like I said, if you know how to get those in a smaller quantity, let me know. And I eventually would want to replace these fillers with more of those hollow ones because it fits the style better. But for now, I just found this like glitter, hollow glitter paper that we're gonna use instead. Okay, cute, that'll work for now. Next is all the red hair chan. And I'm having a bit of a dilemma here because there's five of them and I don't necessarily want to make one page just for one of them and I if I'm being honest this is like not my favorite out of the rest of them obviously I really like this one it's still a super cute pop but compared to these four this is probably like my least favorite like I just wish he had a more I wish he had a different background and then I would feel the same way I do about these so I think for now, I'm just going to set this one aside um, and figure out somewhere else to put it. Maybe I'll just like put it on my shelf because I'm notorious for just putting random photo cards on my shelf. So maybe they'll do that instead and I'll just have these in a pocket by themselves. The only thing is I wish that he was wearing black in this one because then it would just be so cohesive all together. So let's see. I kind of like them when they're across from each other. Is that too matchy matchy if his like peace signs are going in the same direction? <laughs> mm, I think I like this the best, sorry. I didn't really know what I wanted to do <laughs> with this page. I think this is my favorite orientation. Cute. All right. Next, we have these. So, I kind of want to explain a little bit. I have a few pop sets that are like not only of Chan, um, obviously, and I have the other members, but they're I don't have enough for OT8, and they're not ones that I think I want to collect OT8 for. Um, so these are the Apple Shoppy uh, In Life cards. Uh, I initially had Chan's, and then I found these two for like a really good price, so I bought them. So I was like, well, I knew I'm gonna get, I knew I wanted to have an A5 binder and I was like, well, it'd be cute to like have a set of four. So I just need to get one more to put here. I almost want, I want Sungmin's I think, because I think he has the same background as them. So it'd be really cohesive. But at the same time, I think Lino's is so cute and I would also love to have his, but his has like that blue background. And I just don't know if it would throw off like the vibes <laughs> too much. Plus these are like a little bit hard to find. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that anytime soon. But for now, we'll put these ones in here. And then I'm just gonna put in like a blank white filler until I figure out who I'm gonna purchase for here. But yeah, so I do, there's um, also some for like Christmas Evil where I have four members, but I didn't wanna get the full set of them. So there, a couple of those will be going in here too because all of those like half member sets also have Chan so that just made sense to me. Now our lucky draws as we start no easy. So I have both the first round and the second round 
I only had the first round in my uh, collective haul. These were still on the way to me. They finally arrived, but sorry. We just need to take a moment for this card because, oh my God, I think it's my favorite card ever. <laughs> it's so good. I can't even tell you what this card makes me feel, but this one too, like this is a dangerous set, but it's such a contrast of like night and day. <laughs> But, sorry, we just had to appreciate these two for a second because exquisite. So, putting these in, even though they're super thick, but that's okay. I don't understand why Lucky Draws are thick. Like, where did that come from? I guess maybe because, like, you usually get them out of a machine, right? So, they need to be held up. Or they need to be like sturdy so they hold up a little bit better but they don't need to be quite that thick <laughs> so yeah, i'm very happy to have these i also did get the lucky draws for christmas evil as well so i'll have those those are still in a go like i'm waiting for them to arrive to the go manager but i got chan lino felix and ian i believe so again we'll have another like half member page for that okay next this is gonna be the with fans page for no easy i only have the first round i joined a go for the third round but i didn't for the second round for some reason and i've been trying to find the second round one but i still think that those are still being shipped out so i don't think they're really being resold around yet if you find chance with fans round two for no easy let me know i would love to buy them from you but like i said i have the third one on the way and then i don't really know what i'm gonna do for this like random empty spot that we don't have i don't know i'll have to figure out what to put here because this might just be like an empty space because there are only three rounds of with fans fan signs also, this is not something that I normally do, um, but I need to remember that I don't have with fans. <laughs> so I put a little marker that I need that. Normally I don't ever like label my placeholders, but just so I remember that I still actually need that card because I think I keep thinking that I have it in a go, but it's only round three that I have a go. Anyway, that was probably way too much information. Okay, next up our sub K, our infamous no easy sub K. So I have Chan's, Lino, and Jisung. And when I first bought my albums, I was like, all right, when I get them, we're gonna trade whoever we get for Chan and Hyunjin if we don't pull them. And then guess what I pull? I pull Min Sung together. And I was like, there's no way I can trade or sell these off. <laughs> so I ended up having to buy Chan's. And then of course we all know the debacle of Red Light Hyunjin. So that is my like white whale of a card. I will get that card whether it kills me, but I am not going to kill my bank account to get it. So this is my manifestation card that I will own sub K Red Light Hyunjin at some point, but... I don't have him now. <laughs> Instead, I have Chan and Min Sung in the meantime, which is cute. I also like it because Lino's background is red, Chan's is red, Hyunjin's is red, Ji Sung was doing something else. <laughs> I mean, he was completely part of a completely different concept. So was Lino, but he still got the red background <laughs> memo. But again if you see red light hyunjin or you are selling it for a reasonable price let me know reasonable is the key word here i'm not gonna pay triple digits for that card so manifestation right here <laughs> but i do really love chance i'm really glad that i found his when i did it was pretty early on when these were coming out so i still got him for a pretty good price and like i said i once i pulled these i just couldn't i didn't have the heart to trade them away <laughs> even though i probably should have but it's okay 
Okay. Next up, we have my Christmas Evil Pops. So these are from Soundwave. These are the ones that I pulled. Um, and it was just too iconic of a pulling to get rid of them. And it worked out fine because there were four members. So really like these. I also like the hollow. I still am working on my Pob collection for Christmas Evil. It's not going very well, but it's a work in progress. <laughs> I have my like wish list template up on my Instagram and there's just so many holes missing for Chan and I'm kind of panicking because I feel like the further away from Christmas Evil we get, the harder it's going to be to find them. I mean, they're already kind of hard to find right now, but I need to get on that pretty quick. So there's that. Oh, I should actually move. I should move Chan so he's at the end of no easy. Should I put this at the end or before? Maybe I'll put it before so it's like um, not a placeholder, an introduction page to no easy. Plus, this is just a breathtaking print. I thought I debated on whether to frame this and put it somewhere in my apartment rather than putting it in here. And I still might, honestly, but for now, I just decided to put it in here, so. Okay, and then the last set of things that we have to put away. Now, I sort of just have like miscellaneous Chan items and just stay in playground stuff that I don't know what I'm doing with yet. Um, I bought the stay in playground photo book a little while back and there was a lot of photo cards in there i feel like there was more photo cards in there than there were supposed to be and then i ended up purchasing this chan separately but i think that these are like the pre-order benefits that came with it and then these are the two cards that i pulled from that photo book so I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing for Stay in Playground. Like, I almost think it would be fun to collect one of these Polaroids for every member and then have that in my big binder with all my other Stay in Playground stuff and then just collect the rest of Chan's, like, special stuff and put it in here. But that's sort of, like, a low priority for me at this time. So I think for now, I'm just going to stick these in here. Um... So they're at least somewhere safe and not floating around. I also just think that these are too cute to like get rid of. Like this Lino with the ball on his head and like schoolboy athletic sungmen. How could I give these away? <laughs> Okay, and then I'm just gonna put these two on this page. This is just gonna be like a random Pola set, but this is not my original season's greetings that I pulled. So this is from the season greetings from last year, from 2021. Uh, I was so lucky in that my, in my copy that I bought, I actually pulled Chan and that Chan is actually sitting on my shelf. But then I found this one um, for sale around the same time that I think Season's Greetings originally came out, so I bought it. And I bought it with the intention of like collecting the rest of them. And because I think there's five in total. And I think that's still something I wanna do. But again, it's a very low priority at this point because they're kind of hard to find and very expensive. And especially now that like season, like 2022 Season's Greetings is gonna be coming out here soon. I mean, it, is coming soon it's being shipped at the end of january which is such a like a weird thing because like january is going to be over and a month of the calendar is not going to be used anyway that's another discussion <laughs> but my point was i would love to get his other season's greetings to fill out this page but at this time it's not a big priority <laughs> why did i explain my whole life story there i don't know but anyway so like i said this is just going to be a placeholder from ra for random polas in the meantime. Uh, 
all right cool and then these last two i don't really know why i have these <laughs> um i think i saw both of these cards on makari japan one time and they were like pretty reasonably priced like i feel like this was like a dollar or something and then this one was just super cheap so i got them but i kind of don't know what to do with them <laughs> so basically this was from nylon magazine that street kids were featured in there originally was a whole page of all the members and then they were were like perforated so you could like rip them out which is like what this person did so you as you can see it's like all perforated and i bought chan's i don't know <laughs> because and then this is the um stay in london photo card i would love to have all the stay in london photo cards again a low priority but a high priority is just finding a copy of the Stay in London photo book that's not like a million dollars. It's really, really hard to find it, obviously, because I'm pretty sure it was like a pre-order thing only and it's out of print, I guess you could say. And like resale value is just like crazy, crazy high. Like it was not the same resale value that Stay in Playground was. So yeah that's like a high priority for me is to find that photo book but collecting the photo cards is sort of low priority but i would like to have them so yeah in the meantime these are just gonna go here and i think i forgot about these when i went to the store so i don't even have like special fun fillers i'm just gonna put in these white <laughs> these white pages but, yeah this is sort of a random page i don't really know what i'm doing with these cards or why i really have them sometimes you just buy things without thinking about why you're buying them <laughs> so okay that was the last of it i'm just gonna take out this extra page but wow that's already a lot thicker than i thought it would be that's like the story of my life isn't it every time i like get a binder i'm like oh it's not gonna be that thick and then it's like super thick but that's okay i don't think that this is gonna grow very fast as i said i think the only thing that's really gonna grow with this is when i get pobs um so actually i may need another binder here pretty soon if they if stray kids continue on the pob journey that they have been on the last like two three releases maybe i'll take out some of these though i mean i think that this page will be taken out i don't know but needless to say this is a lot thicker than i thought it was going to be originally but that's that's okay it's cute nice and it's like really hefty <laughs> but oh yeah i forgot you can get a keychain oh that would be really cute i should get a keychain and put it here but okay let's do a flip through though so we can see it all set up and put together this is so exciting ignore that the back is totally upside down <laughs> okay so our beautiful cover with our beautiful man <laughs> oh, i'm so glad i decided to do colored uh pages for the prints i think it looks so nice it really just gives it a little bit extra a little extra something you know looks super cute as well oh, i think this is like my favorite page i don't know why i just really like the glitter i think that these cards are just my favorite so this is just my favorite page <laughs> Ooh, this is another favorite i think the black here really really stands out with this print i think that was a good choice for this one but oh my gosh i can't believe this is all in one spot it feels so nice to finally have this all set up and that everything is in one spot that was a big concern for a long time things were just floating around and it was scary <laughs> okay manifest here really quick again we're gonna own this card one day <laughs> my white whale of a card and that's it and my sad cover that i messed up but that's okay should we 
Should I put the string back on? Should we see how that looks? Should this go in the front? Oh no, I think it goes in the back. Yeah. I just want to see what this looks like. Um, it looks like it's bulging a lot. <laughs> it looks like it's squishing it in ways that I don't want it to squish. Maybe that's why everyone doesn't use this. I was gonna, <laughs> I went into this fully thinking like, oh yeah, I'm gonna use the string because I think it's cute. But now I see why. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use the string. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it out, just like everyone else does. <laughs> but I wanted to see how it looked first. <laughs> I'm so glad to finally have this done and finished. I've been thinking about it for a really long time and now it's finally here. I'm also so happy I got to make my own A5 binder setup. Like, I love to binge watch them. I'm pretty sure I've seen every setting up my A5 binder there is on this platform. It's just like my favorite thing to watch. And it's like, I don't know, it's very fun. So now I finally have my own to pull and like put pobs into and cards into so that's really exciting but anyway uh that's gonna be it for me today um oh like i said if you know of any good sticker shops let me know that's something that i really want to get into i think decoing is super fun and like i said i think it would be fun to like deco some of these pages to make them like even a little bit more special than they already are but the world of like deco and stickers is like one that really overwhelms me and I just don't know where to start. So if you know any of any good like small businesses or of like your favorite sticker shops, let me know down in the comments so I can go and check those out. But yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you so, so much and I will see you next time. Bye!